Hey there friend, Joe Hain and Oliver Holden Hain here with you today. Just want to say thanks for coming by. This message is going to be pretty cool and it has to do with being a little child and having that really pure mindset without having any limiting beliefs. So it'll help you out a lot if you're trying to manifest something or just find peace and abundance and purpose. But first and foremost, Thank you for coming by. Thank you for checking out my video, learning a little bit about myself and my family, my situation and how I can help you. Thanks for subscribing and let me know if you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section. So today's video topic is about the question you were asked as a child. What I'm going to ask him probably time and time again, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Do you remember hearing that question when you were a kid? And you could kind of almost gaze off into the infinite possibility of whatever you wanted to be. When I was a kid, it was a lion tamer before we knew how cruel that was, but it was super cool back then and that's what I wanted to be. I didn't think of all the possibilities that were limiting that, that opportunity, that chance for me. I only saw myself being that lion tamer because I loved big cats and lions and tigers. But I didn't think and justify and provide all this evidence on why that could never work out for myself. I just saw it as a possibility and saw myself becoming that thing. But then life happens, society happens, family pressures happen, school pressures, politics, the news, trauma. All these things start happening in our life from when we are a child to the current date which start kind of chipping away at that infinite possibility, that belief system that we truly can live a dream life and become whatever we want. And it starts proving reason of why we cannot become that thing. But all it is is a belief system so we can actually return to this, to the purity of infinite possibility by reacquainting ourselves with that limitless mindset and belief system. So you can do that through a lot of different techniques that are gonna add up, investing in your pers personal well-being, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, doing things that lift you up, catching yourself when you believe you're not good enough or that opportunity is gonna be too difficult or there's too many variables up against you. You can reprogram your mind and your spirit to rise above all that stuff and recapture that limitless childhood, innocent, pure, mindset and spirit. And with that, you again can achieve whatever it is you want out of life. You can become that dreamer and see your dreams come to fruition with actionable goals, with manifestation techniques, mindset techniques, spiritual practices. So I'm here to tell you, I firmly believe in that. That's what I teach. That's what I did for myself, coming to a place of having this little one after losing my wife in 2014 and never thinking that I could know love again. And now I have this amazing, beautiful partner in Suzanne, our little one, a beautiful house. I work for myself now. I make good money. I'm changing people's lives. I'm launching a novel, a membership for mindset manifestation, all these things that I'm doing because I've returned to that child hood mindset and spirit you can do it too so i'm here to help please ask me what questions you may have if you want to get started doing that i can tell you exactly what to do and please check out my website if you want to see some options about working with myself personally so if you're ready for a real transformation and you want to experience a tremendous shift that's the way to do it and we can do that together thank you guys for checking out this video wishing you a very abundant lovely day Bye. <laughs>